Hey y'all, it's Aisha, better known to a lot of you out in the social media streets as Chocolate Curls Beauty. I got a question from Tori. Tori wanted to know, what made you decide to go to cosmetology school? Were you nervous about doing it? Any advice on how to go about that is greatly appreciated. Of course, Tori, I can answer this question for you. So, after spending a year at home, after having my son, um, I was thinking to myself, like, what am I going to do? Because I have to go back into the workforce that allow me to be the type of mom I wanted to be. On top of the fact that for years, I mean years, my friends had been telling me that I should go to beauty school, which I was like, no, to the no-no. Like, I didn't, I never, I'll be honest. I never wanted to do anybody else's hair. I did my hair out of having to do it because my mom couldn't afford to send me to the salon and my dad was being cheap. My dad was too cheap to send me to the salon. So out of necessity, I had to learn how to do my hair and because I had all the hair and that's the first thing that people notice, I had to be really good at it or I became really good at it. And so I got so good that People thought I went to the hair salon. And so my friends was like, you should go to beauty school. And I'm like, no, I'm good. Anyhow, so after spending a year at home with my son, I was like, I gotta get back into the workforce. What's gonna allow me to be the type of mom I want to be? So, decided, you know, since I've been talking about hair, I've been writing about hair, even when I didn't know what I was talking about, because I have given bad advice. I <laughs> enrolled to beauty school. I said, I might as well put myself in a knowledgeable position. Um, so I went and uh, applied to whatever school, no, I won't say whatever school, but I found a school that had um, a schedule where they were starting immediately because most of the programs, they run on schedule, so you can only enroll at certain times of the year. This school had like continuous enrollment, so I was like, I'm going to go here. It's inexpensive because what? I got a bachelor's degree that I owe money on. I don't want to accumulate any more debt. So I went to a school that was inexpensive, local, because um, I'm a solo mom, and so I needed something that I can get to, that I was able to drop my son off and pick him up um, you know, at a decent time and be able to get there on time because if you don't get to school on time, you late. And when you late, you get in trouble. So, found a school that was local, that was inexpensive, and I got myself a mentor. So I shared on my social media that I was going to beauty school. And so Elise was like, oh, let me know if you need any help. So I was like, yeah, girl. So anyhow, I ended up shadow shadowing her in the salon when she was in Chicago. And that actually helped to accelerate the learning process because in beauty school, everything's like really basic and so it's hard to apply things um, when it's not there for you to like really understand. So I would shadow her in the salon. And so my advice to anybody who's thinking about going to beauty school, First, find out how much you want to spend. There are a lot of um, programs in different cities um, being held at community colleges. So what works with your schedule? Because sometimes you have to work and working and going to school at the same time. What's going to work or fit within your schedule? Um, I would suggest uh, going and visiting these schools, seeing if the schools have you know the type of equipment or program that you're looking for what can you learn i would definitely definitely if you can without a doubt when you enroll find yourself a mentor somebody who's already doing what you want to be doing or somebody who is at a place that you would like to uh, get to so i would suggest that so if you're interested in going to be this group find you a school find out what your budget is or determine what your budget is Find yourself a mentor and work your ass off. So if you guys have any questions uh, as it relates to beauty school, uh, becoming a cosmetologist, because I'm just a year into being licensed, haven't even been behind the chair an entire year. If you want to know anything about creating content, let me know. I'll answer these questions and more um, as time goes on. So see you guys later.